Hi, this is Low Budget, and I'd like to show off my latest project. I call it The Necessity, spelled N-E-S-E-S-S-I-T-Y. This is version 1.1 of the circuit board. What this does is it replaces the original motherboard of your front-loader Nintendo NES console. Here's what you'd normally find in a stock Nintendo. Uh, it has this RF box permanently soldered to it. Uh, necessity um, has a little 8-pin JST connector. And it connects to uh, the secondary circuit board. Uh, it gets rid of the RF output, which you would normally find here. Uh, the composite video is here. And uh, the new stereo sound feature is over on this side. Uh, this one's equipped with a 5-volt switching regulator, uh, capable up to 1.5 amps. It has a bridge rectifier, so it can use the original AC uh, power supply of your stock Nintendo system. Uh, I added a, a relay uh, to make the wiring a little simpler. On the motherboard, uh, there's a 15-pin Famicom expansion connector. Uh, above that's the Famicom microphone. Um, there is no Famicom cartridge slot, but you can use a Famicom adapter. These three potentiometers adjust the stereo sound. It supports auxiliary sound output from pin 54 of the cartridge slot. So uh, if you have a compatible Famicom game with expansion audio and your Famicom adapter is uh, correctly wired, you can get that audio mixed into the stereo. It's exact same di dimensions as the original circuit board, so everything fits the same. Any original accessories that are designed for the original Nintendo, like video mods, such as the NES RGB or the high def NES, will fit here. The necessity could be installed with the original steel RF shielding, but I'm going to do it without just for demonstration purposes. The uh, controller circuit board, it does require a small modification. Uh, the polarity of the power LED, it's actually marked. Uh, but you need to remove that power LED and reverse the polarity for the for the LED to turn on when the power's on. Uh, this is just because I wired the necessity a little bit differently than the original system. This five 
this uh, five pin connector here. Um, they don't make those anymore, so uh, that needs to be desoldered and removed from the original Nintendo system. Oh, and I didn't mention it yet, but the, the CPU and PPU naturally need to be removed from your original Nintendo. If I can get the focus here. And no, I cannot get the focus. So you want to make sure your cartridge uh, mechanism is hooked under here, otherwise it won't work. Right. Also make sure actually you don't have any wires pinched. Especially right here. I'm currently just offering these as bare circuit boards uh, with a parts list included. Eventually, I think I'll offer them fully assembled just whenever I get time. Let me just connect this 8 pin JST connector. to the RF board replacement circuit board. Look at the back here. You got your stereo sound there. And uh, composite video where the RF used to be. There's a switch here. It's not currently wired to anything other than uh, these three points right here. Uh, so you can use that for whatever if you're doing some modification work uh, Want to make it a pallet switch or turn on some LEDs or something uh, you can do whatever with it
So here's what it looks like. Now let's play some games. Maybe testing with the power pack. In the future, I'll assemble this with a NES RGB mod board, but right now I'm just doing a basic, or did a basic assembly of it. So it just has composite video only. It has a standby LED, and while you don't really need a LED to indicate when it's off, I uh, actually did that so it discharges this large capacitor when it's unplugged. Turn off the lights, and there's a little bit less glare there. I had no idea what game to play. Ninja Guy Den 2, sounds good. Oh, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. I didn't know I selected that one. I think I pressed the wrong button. As I said, the picture isn't great. Uh, it's just composite video only. It is a little bit better than a stock Nintendo. But uh, if I had an NES RGB installed, then the composite video would be quite a bit better. And it had a S video and RGB as well. So that'll be my Minix project.